judge not. Is that the one? Yes. And ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. And I just mentioned that um, when I first heard that scripture talk to me, I thought it meant judge not, and God wouldn't judge me. Condemn not, and then God wouldn't condemn me. And if I would forgive everybody, then God would forgive me. Right. And I went with that for many years, and for some reason I didn't see the contradiction that, hey, when Jesus died on the cross, one of the things that he did was to separate me from sin and death. I did not have that relationship anymore. It had been utterly destroyed. That's what forgiveness is. Mm -hmm. And so if I'm not judging anybody, then I won't judge myself. Mm -hmm. Because when we're stuck in the system that we're judging other people by their actions, guess what? We're going to judge ourselves mm -hmm. by those actions. If we're condemning other people because, let's say, um, <clears throat> let's say somebody says uh, something unkind. Well, if I condemn them for that and judge them for that, and then in a couple of days I say the same thing, which that happens all the time to us, <laughs> We judge others, and then we do the same thing, and then so we're condemning ourselves mm -hmm. and judging ourselves. So we are seeing ourselves as sinners. We're seeing ourselves that we should be judged by our actions instead of what God's declaration mm -hmm. over us is mm -hmm. and who we really are. We shouldn't be judged. And then the forgiveness part... God's already forgiven us. Mm -hmm. But if I don't forgive, if I don't have that attitude and know what forgiveness is, I am going to think that God has not forgiven me. Mm -hmm. And that, that attitude of